poop. <laughs> Here's a tip. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Oh. Oh. Turd. Y'all. Where is my brush? Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to do a full face using only Tarte products. If y'all watch my videos, y'all know I love Tarte. Tarte and Too Faced are two of my favorite brands. I've already done one full face of Too Faced product, which I could probably do like five more and not use the same product twice because I have so much of their stuff. But anyways, so I thought, why not do a full face of Tarte? Because I have so much Tarte and I love it. So, enough chit chat. Let's get started. So, I did go ahead and put the Tarte Pout Prep on my lips. I have an old toothbrush that I use. So, I went ahead and exfoliated my lips to go ahead and get the lips prepped. So, next step is... I've got these two lip products. These are their Quench Lip Rescue. I've got two colors. This one is in the shade Rose. This is what it looks like. This one is in the shade Coral. And this is what it looks like. The packaging, can I just say, oh, my hair. Can I just say, Tarte, y'all's packaging is so good. I love it. Everything is just like these pretty little gold accents which I love gold. They just take time to make everything so cute and like quality, like it feels good. So hands down, Tarte's packaging is the bomb. These are kind of like, they're not really like lipsticks. Um, when you put them on, I'll swatch both of them. They're just very creamy, almost like a gloss, but it's like a balm. It's not sticky. So there's the rose color and then this is the coral. Okay, so they're just really pretty, not too much color, but they just make your fit, make your lips feel really good, and they smell like peppermint, which is great. So did that lip, uh, lip, lip exfoliator. I think I'm gonna put the coral one on, just to kind of prep the lips to get them feeling good while we're doing the rest of the makeup. Those just feel so good. I definitely recommend getting these. These are great, y'all. Okay, next, we're gonna prep the skin. So, I like to have my skin really hydrated and moisturized and feeling nice and good before I put makeup on top. So the makeup kinda just like pushes it in even more. This is the Mermaid Skin Hyaluronic H2O Serum. It's got a little pump. Dropping everything. There you are. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this, and usually I just go straight. Ooh. Do y'all see that? I just about took my eyeball out there with that. Okay. I usually just go straight on my face with that and then rub it in, but that never happens. Ooh. I'm about to have to get a headband because hair is getting all in my face. So that's already soaked in like it doesn't sit on top of your skin and it just makes your skin feel really just Refreshed and hydrated. So I like that. All right. I'm gonna get a headband um I might have just come up with a new a new hack here <laughs> I was putting my headband on do y'all see this look at this comb your eyebrows two at one time doing this right here I mean Come up with them hairs. Look at that. Hey, might have discovered something new. Back to the makeup. By the way, I have a bump here, so y'all don't judge me. Okay, next step is this is the Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. And I usually use this every night before I go to bed, but it's just a really nice, it smells amazing. <sighs> like, like summertime. I don't know how to describe this smell, but it's so good. 
it just smells fresh and like a clean breeze almost. Oh, it just smells good. But anyways, I usually just put, 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 <laughs> put a few dollops. Dollop a daisy. No. <laughs> dollops on my face. Oh, and again, it just feels so good on your skin. Next, I'm going to go in with these. These are the Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops. I'm going to shake them up real good because they've got kind of like a little shimmer to them. It's got this little dropper. Usually I just drop a few. And it doesn't really make your face so with everything wanting to go in my eyeball today. Anyways, it doesn't really make your skin like sparkly. It just gives it a good healthy glow. Up next is foundation. I have a couple of options. I've got this Amazonian clay full coverage foundation. I've got the clay stick foundation, which is like a little stick that you can just draw on your face. And it came with this really pretty brush to use with the foundation. This brush came with the Amazonian clay foundation. I've got the Tarte Shape Tape foundation. Most of these are gonna be too light for me right now just because I think I got most of these in the winter time when I was a lot lighter. We can look. I just feel like that's gonna be way too light. So I do have a lot of sample packets. I've used some of them, but I've got the, the matte foundation and the hydrating foundation, as well as a sample of the Amazonian clay with some darker tones down here. I've got two more of these samples. So I think I'm going to go in with the hydrating. I'm feeling the hydrating today. So I've got the two shades I have left are medium sand and tan sand. And I'm thinking right now those are probably going to match my skin the best. This is medium sand. Okay, so that's the medium sand. And then the tan sand. I'm just going to try to mix those two. Hopefully they're not too dark, but okay. So I've just got both of those on here. I'm feeling like I didn't have enough, so I'm going to go in with another packet. I'm going to take the light medium sand. I'm just going to add that in for a little more coverage. So up next, we're going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Mine is in the shade Light Neutral. It's got this really great applicator. Try to get that bump covered up. This lip is so hydrating. It smells like peppermint and it's not sticky. Like I don't like a sticky gloss. I don't like to feel like my lips are gonna cling to anything that lands on them. But they're just like, it just feels so good. Y'all, I love that lip stuff. Anyways, moving on. Next, we're going to do setting powder. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. Mine's a little messy, but, but this is what it looks like. So I'm going to take my sponge and go in. It's got a little net in it, um, but theirs actually seems to work really good. So I didn't, I didn't have to cut the net out like I did with some other ones that I couldn't get the product out. This one really works good. So... As you can see, like it comes out. Okay, up next we're going to go in with bronzer. And this is the Hotel Heiress bronzer. It's the Amazonian clay matte waterproof bronzer. A lot of their stuff, if you're not familiar with Tarte, a lot of their stuff is the Amazonian clay, which is supposed to be really good for your skin. So you can kind of trust what you're putting on your face, which I like. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'm going to contour the nose with the same bronzer. Okay, up next we're going to do blush. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And mine is in the shade Ohana. Come on, open. There we go. There's my brush. Where is my brush? Oh my gosh, right in front of my face. That's where it was. We're just going to dust that on the cheeks. It's a very pretty, almost like a mauve blush. Like it's not a very pink blush. It's more of like a natural bronzy color. All right, up next, we're going to do brows. The only brow product that I have from them is this Izzy Gal Brows. Mine is in the shade Medium Brown, but basically it's like a little comb type wand, and it's just like a gel. Basically, if you're in a hurry, you can just swipe it on your eyebrows real quick. It shouldn't take you too long, but I actually like this a lot more than most brow gel products like this that I've tried, so... Just gonna brush that through the brows. Try to give them a little more shape. My hair is finally starting to grow in where I really just butchered my brows the other day. But see, you can see the difference. It's not too drastic. If you're someone who likes more of a natural brow, you don't really get into the whole drawing them crazy and stuff. Um, this is, you might like this. This could be for you. It's just more natural. It's real simple to use. Just brush it through. Okay, so there are the brows. Just simple. Comb them out a little bit. You do have to be careful not to get them on the hair around your brows because then you'll start looking like you got crazy brows. But up next is where I typically do my eyeshadow. Now, I have got so many palettes, y'all. I've got the Tardiest Pro Remix. The Tardiest Pro. This is like the little Tropical Paradise palette. It's so cute. With the little gold and the flamingos on it and the palms. Oh, I love it. But it's got some pretty colors in it. We might use this one today because I'm feeling it. And it matches my sweater, so. Okay, we've also got the Shape Your Money Maker eye and cheek palette. So it's got two cheek products here and then some eyeshadows. We've got the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2. Really pretty. We've got the Glam on the Go with the little flamingos that move. It's really pretty too, just natural nude colors. I've got the Play Play Must Have Eye and Cheek Palette. So it's got a bronzer, blush, a highlighter, and then little trios of eyeshadow looks that you can do. There was a point where literally the only makeup I did was with this palette and their clay stick foundation. Like, literally. I did the clay stick foundation, the busy gal brows, and then I used this for my eyes and my face. Like, I might do that as one of my looks because I used to do that all the time. And then this on the lips. Just quick, easy, natural. I might, I might do that. Okay. Then I've also got the Tartlet in Bloom palette. That's what it looks like. And I feel like I'm missing another one, but who knows? Who knows? I've got a Tarte overload. I think today we're going to use this one because I'm just feeling it. It's fun. It's pretty. It's pink. I'm feeling pink today, obviously, with my shirt. So... Okay, so this is the colors we're working with here. I'm kind of feeling this color here. I'm gravitating towards it today. So I'm going to go in with my Sigma E40. And you know what? We're just going for it. I just want to use this. So we're going to jump right into this color here called Luau. We're going to put that all in the crease. It's so pretty. It's like a shimmery peach. Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay, next, we're going to go into this shade here called Floaty. And we're just going to focus that on the outer corner. And in case you're wondering, yes, the milk bump is still here. Like, do y'all see that? Still there. Just being a little turd. Okay, we're going to go on the bottom lash line with that same color, Floaty. 
This is my Sigma E30, the pencil brush. We're just gonna pop that on the lower lid. Okay, and then lastly, okay, lastly, I'm gonna take my Sigma E55 and we're gonna go into this shade here called Mambo. And I'm just gonna pop that on the lid just to brighten it up a little bit. Next, we are gonna do eyeliner. I've got two different ones. I've got the Sex Kitten, which is a gel liner. It's got a little smudger. And I thought it had a pencil. Oh! Some shavings in there. I'm gonna end up with a big old black spot on my legs. Um, yeah, so it's got a little pencil sharpener on the other end and a smudger. And then I've got this one, which is the Tardiest Double Take Eyeliner. On one end, you have a liquid brush, and on the other end, you have a pencil. I'm gonna go in with this one today. I'm gonna use the liquid side. Okay, then I'm also gonna go in with this. This is called Fake Awake, and it's their like brightening eyeliner. So it's in a like a nude skin color. This is a tip or trick for a lot of you more mature ladies. You can put this on your waterline, which is what we're going to do, and it will brighten up your eyes and make them look bigger and just more awake and more youthful. On the other end of this, we've got a smudger, which I never use smudgers. I don't know why. I just, I don't, I like my liner to be bold. I don't like it to be smudged out, really. And it's also got a sharpener. So, okay, so this is what it looks like, and we're just going to go in the waterline. <laughs> Okay, so it just makes your eye, right now it looks crazy because I don't have mascara on yet, but it just opens your eye up a lot. Just makes you look more awake. Okay, so there's that. Now I've got two of their mascaras. I've got the Man Eater, and then I've got the Lights, Camera, Lashes, which is one of my favorites. Um, the Man Eater I'm not crazy about just because of this right here. And y'all know if you watch my other videos, I cannot stand these silicone spiky applicators. So we'll use this one first. Oh, before I do that, I've got this little pineapple eyelash curler. How stinking cute is that? That came with this little paradise kit with the, the palette that we got and it all came in this little box. This is something that I don't typically do, but why not? I got the curler. It's tart. It's cute. Might as well. I mean, it did do something. So, yeah, we got lift. We are ready for lift off. What's that front? For takeoff? Ready for lift off? I don't know. Okay, well, that actually did a pretty good job. Okay. Okay. I stand corrected. Did do a pretty good job. All right, I'm going to do the bottom lashes with this one. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Lights Camera Lashes. This one is the one that I typically like more. We're going to layer that on top. Look at that, y'all. Ooh. My goodness, that is some good mascara right there. Okay, do I want to do the bottom? Not really. And now that I've got the mascara on, you can see how that fake awake just kind of made my eyes look more awake and alert just by having that light color on the waterline. So you've got a little more age to you and you want to look more youthful and awake, there's a tip. You can do that. Okay, all we've got left is lips and highlighter. So this is the Skin Twinkle Volume 2 Lighting Palette. It's so pretty. It's got some different shades of highlight. And then it came with, when I ordered it, 
this fan brush to use. I think today we'll go with Daylight, which is this one right here. It's got Daylight, Skylight, Spotlight, and Candlelight. So we're just gonna twist that on the cheeks. Normally I'll go in with a setting spray and then do my highlighter while it's still damp, but I don't have a setting spray from Tarte. Not sure if I've seen one. I mean, I would think they have to have one. I just, maybe I, you know, I just don't have one. So we're just not gonna use one today but their stuff sticks pretty good without a setting spray i mean look at that and i like this fan brush too okay we'll do the cupid's bow i'll do the chin and i'm just gonna take my pencil brush and we're gonna go down the bridge of the nose the tip of the nose And then I'm going to highlight my brow bone in the inner corner. All right, so lastly, we've got lip. So I've got this. This is the Tardiest Lip Crayon in the shade Baked. It's got, if I don't throw it down on the ground. So on the back end, again, we have a sharpener, which is really nice that they thought of that. And I feel like there's something else. Oh, no, that's the turner. And then on this end, we've got the liner. I am gonna go ahead and sharpen this because we do wanna have a nice clean line for the lip, so. All right, so now I've got a good sharp point. I'm just gonna kinda wipe that off a little bit. My lips feel so good from that stuff. Okay, we're gonna line. I've got lots of different lip products from them. You saw the, the first one that we used, the Quencher. I've got, this is a little sample that I have of their lipstick. I think it's like the H2O lipstick in the shade Salt Life. I've got a bunch of, let's just see. Okay, so I've got all these and I probably have more somewhere that I'm not seeing. But anyways, these are all their Tardiest Lip Paints. I love these because they dry really matte and they do not move all day long. So once they're on, they will stay put. They don't come off on your drink or anything. I love them. But I've got all these. I've also got these two. These are their Lip Sculptor Lipstick and Lip Gloss. So on one end you have a lipstick and then on the other end you have a gloss. So this one is in the shade Kind and then I've got this one in the shade Treat. Okay. I've got those two as well. I feel like that would be pretty with it too. So much tart. So much. I think today I want to use this Salt Life lipstick. I don't know, I'm not liking that on the lip now. I think I want a lighter lip. So I feel like I want a lighter lip, so I wiped that off. Um, I touched up the liner, and I think I wanna use this one today. So we're gonna go in with the lipstick first. This is the, the Lip Sculptor in the shade Treat. We're gonna go in with the lipstick. So there's the lipstick, and then let's go in with the gloss on top. I like that one better. Okay, so here is the finished look. It's a very natural, pretty, summery look. As always, the products will be linked down below through Amazon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, please subscribe. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.